Hello and welcome once again. As I explained before in the other uh, tutorials, you come across different types of diagrams. And as a student in automotive or electronics, again, I stress the point, you're going to have to come to these certain types of diagrams, which is not next to the ordinary diagram. So we're doing fuel injection. Now, there's a computer involved, ECM. There's ignition coils involved. There's a module for the ignition coil. There are fuel injectors, and there's a sensor. How do these all fit together, and how do you read this? Now, this is not the ordinary way of a schematic, as you've seen if you've seen much on my channel. So, over here, we always start over here for this purpose. A fuse... ECM ignition fuse. If you're ever in doubt of a fuse, what the purpose is, always look at the description or the identification of the fuse. For example, fuel pump fuse, uh, starter motor fuse, uh, um, uh, a power, power window fuse, or anything like that. There'll be a description. So that should help. So in other words, this is ECM. So I'm thinking right away... This should go to the ECM. Let's follow the line. Do a connector through pink and black wire, and sure enough, it goes to ECM ignition. That's why it's called ECM ignition fuse. The other side goes to, obviously, 12 volts. And you're not gonna see 12 volts, you're not gonna see a battery here or a battery source or any power source. That's what makes it a little difficult that you have to um, fill in the details, not everything is here. So we know we have over here 12 volts, great. Okay, 12 volts. Comes the hard part over here. We know we have fuel injectors. How many fuel injectors do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. So that tells us obviously it's a V6. Now comes the hard part again. The BCM, or the ECM in this case, actually, one side of the fuel injectors, we know, goes to the power supply, a 12 volts. The other side is commanded or controlled by the computer. Okay, now, so we're going to start over here. I have six injectors over here. Here is another fuse. Okay, and by the way, the rating of the fuse, I always tell you, pay attention. So if you see 15 amps over here, where's the current going through? Right here, in this direction. In this direction. So how much how much current? Maybe 10, 12 amps, about 70, 80% of the fuse rating. So about 10 amps to 12 is going through here, in this direction. Now, the 12 volts over here, should we have 12 volts over here? if the fuse is good. Same principle to this. Okay? Here, we don't have any description of the fuse. See, these fuses doesn't give us a description. But we have, to, in order to figure out what the fuse is, we have to see where it's connected to. It goes to the fuel injectors. So therefore, we know we have 12 volts here. Right, coming from ignition. Therefore, there's a pink black line over, uh, pink black wire over here. However, when you look at this symbol, see, it's open. There's no complete path or complete connection between here to here. Here, there's a connection. We know that. There's no connection between here to here. So, black mini harness connector means that there's a connection from here to here. Even though the schematic doesn't show, it shows us as something open. But we have to infer, or from details, we have to figure out if I'm going 12 volts here, and these are an injector, somehow there must be a connection through all of these six ones through this one. So there's a main connector over here going to all of these to give it 12 volts, even though it looks open over here. That's a difficult part that was hard to figure out. Always you have connections. That's why I'm showing you different types of, of diagrams. You'll have to go over when you go into this profession. In electronics, like I said, automotive. Here comes the same problem now. 
So all of these have 12 volts. So if I go over here, all of these have 12 volts across each one. Why? Because they're coming from the fuse. Why? Because they're coming from the battery. Now, the other side we said is a control. Again, we have the same problem. There's no connection from here to here, so we think, right? But in reality, in reality, the other side of the injector, and these are the odd ones, injector one, three, five, injector two, five, so these are odd, these are even. So the other side, see how they're all connected in common? You see how they're all connected in common? If one have 12 volts, all of them are 12 volts. If one of them is controlled, all of them is controlled. It's the same point. So this one is connected over here. The light blue, light blue over here through this connector. So light blue through the connector comes out the connector through the light blue and goes to D3 and D9. And what are those? Those are injection drivers that we spoke about in the other videos. The computer has the drivers inside. So I was asked by a viewer about the drivers and what, and to, to make a video, it will not show you these are transistors going on and off. Transistors can be switches, which is what's going on over here. Or a transistor could be an amplifier. It can amplify class B, class A, uh, uh, an audio signal, or any signal, or RF signal. But for our purposes, transistors are the drivers going on and off, either saturated or in cutoff. Anyway, so they're controlling which one goes on and off by the drivers, the computer. So therefore, if he wants injector one to spray fuel, right? As you can see over here, they're all connected. He, all of them will be going on at the same time. It's not an individual connection, which makes it a little difficult, obviously, to understand. Okay? So therefore, this these drivers are all connected to these in common, a bus line. So they all have the same control. Now, that's the injector's part of it. That was the hard part of it that I stressed. Now we come to something else called the ignition coils. The ignition coils is the one that gives the spark, the high voltage spark. They call it an ignition coil, I call it a transformer. Anything that has a primary, a primary, turns right and you have more turns to me is a transformer it's a step up transformer they call it ignition coil so anyway so let's say you have 100 turns here you have 10,000 turns over here which is going to have more voltage this one obviously more turns now they put this side as a primary you see a switch over here a primary and this is the secondary of a transformer if you come to any schematic the primary is always on this side. See the primary on this side? And the spark plug with the high voltage goes to, on this side, is on the right side. They flipped it in this, in this figure. That's why I chose this figure. See, they flipped it. What we thought was the primary on this side is the secondary, and what we thought the Secondary on this side is actually the primary. So you see how, to, how you have to delve into it and really, really analyze it closely. Otherwise, you will misdiagnose the print. So in addition to the primary, so the voltage goes in here. Okay? The voltage goes in here as it goes over here. And I forgot to mention one thing again. And I mentioned other videos. 12 volts goes here. What goes over here? A ground. It gives it a ground on and off. So when it wants the injectors to give more fuel, it'll it'll open up the injectors. Less fuel, close the injectors. He decides. Going back to this, now we have B plus coming in from the fuse. Again, a separate fuse, three separate fuses. Okay, always pay attention. Is it one common fuse, or is it three separate fuses? Because why? Because if this fuse is blown, it will only affect the PCM. It will not affect the fuel injectors. If this fuse is blown, it will only infect, 
affect what? The fuel injectors, but the PCM can still work. So always pay attention. Are they common? One fuse, two fuses, or are they separate? Taking that into consideration, a 10 amp fuse goes in here. So current is flowing in here and into this terminal called B. See B plus? It's going to every winding of the primary. Going to him, going to him, and going to him. But the other side of the primary, so one side is 12 volts. Great. We, great. What about the other side? The other side is a switch. What does that mean? That means the transformer, that part of it, or the ignition coil, they call it, is being turned on and off. And when it gets turned on and off, there's a collapsing field. That collapsing field magnetic field is induced from this side from the primary to the secondary giving you a higher voltage which obviously goes to the spark plugs to the spark plug wires or the spark plugs so therefore therefore this is a switch who decides when to cut off the switch who decides that take a guess him the pcm who decides to give the fuel injectors to open them and close them him He's the boss. Now, now that you know this is being switched on and off by him, there's a crankshaft sensor. One of the most, one of, me, one of the most difficult crankshaft sensors or sensors to understand in automotive is a crankshaft sensor. But if you have a crank and no and no start, right? You think it's a fuel pump, whatever. Always pay attention to the crankshaft sensor, which is obvious, obviously one of the culprits that could be involved. So, as you see over here, and when I get a chance, I'll go over the real details of the crankshaft because it's so deeply involved. But anyway, there's two from the crankshaft, yellow, purple, two wires, and a ground, a shielding that's used as a ground, giving information that the crankshaft is turning, is rotating. What kind of crankshaft sensor is it? What, it doesn't really make a difference. Even though, even though it's magnetic and all that, uh, 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 gener uh, pulse generated, that's not for this video. We're just looking at the diagram, the wires, and we're seeing yellow and purple, two wires, another one is the ground. The crankshaft sensor is, is giving information to this, he's going to react upon this. This ECM is going to react upon this. But the most important, the most important thing is that I wanted to, to go over is how to read different types of schematics. There is no connection between here and here. No connection between here and here. But you have to put in, mentally, you have to put in the connection. Oops. Mentally, you have to put in the, 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 the connection. This is reversed always you see the primary on this side and the secondary on this side the secondary on this side no yeah see how you always have to pay details to two things so anyway i hope this was uh informative uh go please go to my channel joe electronic schematics for auto well you'll see more of this if you don't find any information that you found here please go to the channel thanks for watching